Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing the last three months of results. We're getting into earnings season now. begins this week. Very exciting. Good, strong start to the calendar year for 2019. I'm looking to continue this into the remaining part of the year. If you'd like more information, you can always email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So earnings season is a great time to trade. Why? Because most stocks, when they're reporting earnings, will have a big move, a volatile move, a momentum move. So as an active trader or even an investor, you make money when you get the stock in the right move in that direction when it has a big move. So obviously, ideally, you want stocks to have big moves. And that's what we're looking for here. Now let's go back and go through since the beginning of the year. January off to start the year. SPY was a nice one. First trade failed. Second one was a nice winner, though, in the SPY on the 8th. Market's been extremely bullish this year. Uh, this is one of the most bullish starts of the year that I've seen in, gosh, I can't even remember. Uh, then I was sick for a few days. Lulu was a good one in the 14th. 15th was Netflix. Nice move on Netflix. SIG took two tries first one failed this is called a retake second one worked then there was another trade a beautiful move in the sig then on the full day axp was a loser qqq was a winner market closed in the 21st swk was a winner cof was a winner mkc was a loser qqqs was a winner starbucks was a winner small one there cat was a winner gme was a winner on the 30th t was a loser second one worked but small q's first trade loser second one winner spy was a winner X was a winner, Q's was a winner, and V was a loser. No trades in the first to the fourth, off the fifth. E was a loser, Twitter was a winner, CARB, first trade loser, second one winner. And then no trades on the 11th. UAA was a loser, Guild winner, SPY winner. That was a nice one in the SPY. Tiva, loser, SPY loser, and the second trade worked in the SPY. 14th NTAP did not work as a gap. That just failed completely on the first and the retake. MGM worked and Cisco did not. SPY was a winner on the 15th. Market closed on the 18th. WMT was a winner. CVS loser. Second trade in CVS winner. DPZ was a winner. KHC was a winner. Room closed on the 25th. CAT was a loser. HD was a loser. SJM was a loser. WTW a nice winner on the 27th. And the 28th, HPQ again, another nice winner. Then to start out March, SPY was a loser. Second trade winner. Q's was a loser on the 4th. TV day off the 5th. TRIP was a loser. Target. Uh, first trade loser, second one winner. KR was a winner. Kosh was a beautiful gap. Uh, first trade loser, second one winner. No trades on the 11th. Stitch Fix, first trade loser, second one loser. Off on the 13th, DG, first trade small loser, second one nice winner. No trades on the 15th. The 18th, OSTK was a loser. Spy was a loser. Facebook was a winner. DSW was a winner on the 19th. FDX was a wild one. First trade loser, second trade winner. Third trade loser, that was a crazy day. 21st GES, loser at CSIQ, winner. Nike was a really nice one on the 22nd. No trades in 25th, TV day off the 26th. Len was crazy, but really good. First trade loss, second one won, and then the third one won. Lulu was a winner, off of the 29th. Spy was a winner. WBA first trade loser, second one loser. WBA then was a winner on the third try, and QQQ's winner on the second. And then the Q's and the Spy, two beautiful moves on the third, and then off the fourth and fifth. So for those of you that are questioning what an advanced trader risk is, these are advanced trader totals. It's around 2,000. Some are slightly less, but that gives you an idea, and I'm being conservative here, what you need to risk for these results in the trades. Again, you can risk less, so it's really up to you. If you have questions for that based on the size of your account, cash-wise and your margin, you can always ask me. If you're thinking about trading to support yourself, if you're thinking about trading for extra money, I think it's important to know. So again, decide how you wanna go after this before you actually begin. It'll help you stay more focused. I teach a class on my method. It's called the Golden Gap Course. The next class is this coming weekend, April 13th and 14th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99 U.S. dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. 
And if you want to do the trends course, it's a combo, 13th, 14th, 15th, three days in a row, $64.99 is the price for both you save if you sign up for everything together. It's a great time to get involved. It's a great time to join. It's going to be a great time to trade. Good luck, everyone, and have a fantastic week.